Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love Starter, and welcome to my Insiders Update. In this video, we're diving into the latest features and improvements from Google. This includes updates to Google Analytics 4, the Google Tag, and Google Tag Manager. These changes impact how we import data, manage consent, and improve data accuracy in our reports. Let's jump in. First up, there's an update to cost data import in GA4. When the updated cost data import options are available for your property, you'll be able to find them by navigating to Admin, then selecting Data Import, or by choosing Data Collection and Modification, and then selecting Data Import. Here's what's new. You can now import cost data from additional sources, which are Google Sheets, BigQuery, Amazon S3, Amazon Redshift, Google Cloud Storage, HTTPS, MySQL, Postgres SQL, and Snowflake. I need to flag these options are currently rolling out to GA4 properties, so if you don't see them yet, check back and they should be added soon. If you're running paid campaigns outside of Google Ads, like on Meta, LinkedIn, or another platform, you now have these additional options for importing cost data into GA4. For example, you can now use a data connector like Supermetrics or Data Slayer to pull cost data into Google Sheets and then pull the data from Google Sheets into Google Analytics. Once the cost data is imported, you'll be able to compare your campaign performance across your advertising initiatives. That includes Google Ads and non-Google channels. You can customise the standard reports, create exploration reports, or use the planning all channels report in the advertising workspace. This is a great step forward if you've been wanting to automate cost data import and have more complete cross-channel reporting inside GA4. I've included a link in the description below this video if you want to learn more. The next update is all about consent settings. If you've been working with consent mode and added a cookie banner to your website, this update is for you. Google has now integrated Google Tag Diagnostics directly in the Consent Settings Hub in GA4. This is a helpful enhancement. It means you can now diagnose consent issues more easily without needing to dig through code or rely on external tools. To find the Consent Settings Hub, navigate to Admin and then select Data Collection and Modification under your Property Settings. Choose Consent Settings. You'll now see additional tools and insights designed to help you understand if consent is working as expected or if there are any issues that need attention. This could include things like tags not firing correctly or consent signals not being passed to Google. So if you're troubleshooting consent mode or just want to be sure things are set up properly, definitely take a look at this. And now let's talk about something I've been testing, Google Tag Gateway, which was previously called First Party Mode. Google Tag Gateway is a privacy-friendly way to deploy the Google Tag through your own domain, rather than having the code hosted on one of Google's domains. The idea is that by loading tags through your own domain, you can improve tag loading, reduce the impact of ad blockers, and improve accuracy. And here's the great part. I ran a controlled test comparing a standard GA4 setup with one using Google Tag Gateway, and I saw an increase of almost 7% in the number of users being measured. That's a meaningful lift, especially if you're working with lower consent rates or worried about data loss from ad blockers. So how does it work? The Google Tag Gateway uses Cloudflare to proxy the Google Tag through your own domain. The tag request is then forwarded to Google servers, but from the user's perspective, it all happens on your own domain. Currently, I only recommend this setup if you're using Cloudflare as the manual setup is more advanced. 
but I definitely recommend taking the time to check it out. I've included a link with more details in the description below this video. And if you'd like me to create a tutorial covering Google Tag Gateway, please let me know in the comments. Okay, let's quickly recap on what we've covered in this Insiders update. GA4 now supports cost data import from a wide range of new sources. This includes Google Sheets, BigQuery and more. The consent settings hub in GA4 has been upgraded with Google Tag Diagnostics. This makes it easier to troubleshoot consent issues. And I've tested the new Google Tag Gateway and I'm seeing a nearly 7% improvement in user tracking compared to the standard tag. As always, I've included links and helpful resources in the description below this video. And if you found this update helpful, then please like it so I know to make more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.